been super busy. We've cleaned out, swept, tidied, chipped <coughs> all of this area, which was horrible. Still got the hole in the door, but we'll fix that tomorrow. So it just looks better, really. We found woodwork. 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 woodwork, not just some, quite a lot. A lot, and we got a big light going. So we've got woodworm in the stairs, so we might need new stairs. New stairs. Chances are quite good. We actually think we're going to need new timber throughout. There's woodworm. There, yeah, there really is everywhere. Even on the newest timbers. Uh, toilet sort of flushes. I've not sorted the water yet. And it's nasty. But we've not tackled this room. We've just given it a little bit of a sweep. But then the best job is in here, where we stripped all of the ceiling boards to expose all the rot, rot, damp, dripping, nasty. But we've removed that is actually fixed to the wall, but that's also full of woodworm, which is annoying. Just wanted to keep that. <laughs> I really, really, really wanted to keep that. So all that will have to go, but not really an issue. All the wall <coughs> panelling's still on. We've not taken that off yet. And then Dawn was taking out or cleaning out the cupboard, and then stripping the wallpaper over the fire to find the old shape fire. So the Argo was put in after Argo, it's actually a Stuart range I think, Stanley, Stanley range <coughs> was put in after the brick fireplace was closed out, you can see it really clearly on there actually. Oh yeah, wow. So it is an option that we maybe unblock it all. The Stanley range is just shot, which is a real shame. Yeah. Because the, the the ovens, yeah, it's rusty, but it might clean. But even down the fire, it's just all. There's even a tin can in there, look. But it, it's just all smashed. No good. Never mind. So that will go. And it's bowed and it's bent and everything else. And then we took up. Rug after rug <laughs> after mat and carpet and carpet and rugs and mats and found the lino. So the lino we thought okay we'll take the lino up to find it's on top of another lino. So we take that back. It's not a very good example. And then you find another lino, which is so old it's just wearing away as a centipede. 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 A centipede. A centipede. Yeah, it's a crossbreed. <laughs> and then when you pick up the third one, you're actually greeted with the fourth one, <laughs> which is fairly mullered. But what we've done to see how much this fall dry out just overnight we literally drew a line cut a line and lifted it all up back to the concrete floor we're hoping all of this damp has just come from uh, the hole in the ceiling look and up above they're just rotten and that was coming because of the holes in the roof we do think what's all the bubbling what bubbling? Oh, the bubbles. I think it's water and cobwebs. I don't know. Is 
just looks like it's just creating loads of fog. Yeah, I think it's, I think it's water and cobwebs. Mm -hmm. Don't know, but we do think above the fireplace up here, we think that's tar from the old fire which used to go up and the, the blackening. But looking at the the wall, we do think there's water running down the chimney stack and down on the inside. And about 12 layers of wallpaper. Yeah, uh, 12 layers <laughs> at least. But it does look a lot, lot better if we stand back right in the corner. It's a huge space. It is a huge kitchen stroke dining room. You can see why they would have always spent their time in here. So everything that came out of here, although we're not quite finished because we've got two gas cookers over there. We've got the big woodworm thing there. Everything that came out of here and all the paneling still got to be taken off is now outside. Lino and a kitchen for sofa one two three armchairs table uh units a recliner well leather effect recliner it's just all rubbish luckily we've got a skip coming friday if the guy can help us sooner it will be tomorrow being thursday today wednesday so that's going to go we've got a big 12 yard skip coming tomorrow we'll start on the living room so we go on to this morning pretty much nine o'clock on the nose he said he was going to be here at nine o'clock a roofer came and we were expecting him just to come and have a look and give us an extortionate quote now the drone footage showed two big holes and then slip tiles and just holes really wasn't it yeah. and this morning he came and he stayed half a day and he's done everything he can we've still got a missing gutter but he's cleaned all of the gutters out for us and then the drone footage from yesterday will show you up there there was a hole and round the front there was a hole and slip tiles and I'll get the drone out in a minute and show you what he's done absolutely brilliant Sean can't remember his surname don't know Maxwell comes to mind but I'm not sure. yeah not sure Sean somebody lovely bloke out in the rain his island so you're always going to be out in the rain but he cleared all of the gutters out we've asked for a price to retile the roof he thinks that timbers are good on a hole but we no longer have holes in the roof no holes no dripping into the bedroom no dripping into the kitchen and then we did see how the cows are gone. Where do they go? I don't know where they go. <laughs> We've got cows in this field. Three cows, which is where the electric fence is from yesterday. So that's a fixed roof. As much as fixed can be, it looks a real bodge. But we, want we don't bodge. care. <laughs> it's stopped so much water today. It has rained and rained and stopped and rained and stopped and rained. We've never known a place like it, to be honest. We knew it was going to rain, but we didn't know it was going to be like it was. But we'll get the drone out, we'll have a look. Oh, I just walked in front. Only the top of your head. <laughs> and we'll fill you in tomorrow.